Today I want to talk about three different blockchain companies which already had their ICO but where I see a big potential for them in the future. So the first company I want to talk about is KindAds and what's interesting about them is they already collected 20 million US dollars but not in a public ICO but through private investment round. That means just a very small amount of people actually got the token and large masses don't even know about the project yet. So they work in the advertising industry and they're basically three big players. The first one is the publisher, people who are creating content. In this case, it's ICO Insider. You guys are the consumer or the customer who is consuming the content from the publisher. And the third party is the advertiser who is running advertisement on this campaign. In a perfect world, the publisher is creating great content which the consumers love. That way his audience is growing over time and he also finds ways to monetize his influence. He's having partnerships with, with agencies who are want to tailor their marketing to exactly his audience and that way drive traffic to people who are interested in their service. Unfortunately, the reality looks a little bit different. The publishers are vastly underpaid for the big influence they actually have. So they go to certain ad networks which then in turn run advertisement on their platform. Most of the time that advertisement is not catered to the audience. So it's not related to the audience. They're not really interested in it. On top of it, they're usually pop-up ads and they feel intrusive to the user. So the whole experience gets worse. On top of that, that middleman, the ad network is getting a big cut and that person who wants to advertise, he's sending out the advertisement to people who are not even interested in his service. As you can see, this is a lose, lose, lose situation for all parties involved. And this is where kind of comes into place. They want to create more of the perfect scenario I described earlier. And the way they do that is by creating a platform with virtually no middleman and no fees involved. What they also do is they connect the right publisher with the right advertiser. So the consumer gets to watch advertisement he actually cares about. That way the advertiser is starting to sell his product or service. So he's happy. The publisher is also getting uh, more compensation for even less advertisement and you guys get to watch advertisement you actually care about. So it turns more the lose, lose, lose situation into a win, win, win situation. Now you might be asking yourself, how does a company make money if they don't collect any fees? And the answer is pretty simple. Basically it's a utility token. So the advertising company has to pay in kind tokens to receive advertising space and the publishers will be rewarded in kind tokens as well. And that's where the use value of the token is. As you guys know, the success of the company is largely dependent on the strength of the team. And they have a very strong team here. And I want to introduce to you guys the CEO of the company and the co-founder, Mr. Madeiros. He's also the co-founder of NPBR International, an agency that helps large corporations with their digital marketing needs. Currently, they help their clients spend over $100 million a year on marketing. The advisor to Kind Ads is Neil Partell. He's a New York Times bestselling author. The Wall Street Journal calls him a top influencer on the web. Forbes says he's a top 10 marketer. And Entrepreneur Magazine says he's a creator of one of the top 100 most brilliant companies. He was recognized as a top 100 entrepreneur under the age of 30 by President Obama and a top 100 entrepreneur under the age of 35 by the United Nations. The second company that caught my attention was Gladius. They finished their ICO collecting 14.5 million US dollars, giving away 60% of their funds. During their ICO, the price was $1.25 for a token, and now they're traded at 37 cents. Bear in mind that we're in a bear market where most of the cryptocurrencies have been dropping and I see them recovering in the future. So Gladius is operating in the cybersecurity industry, specializing on DDoS attacks. I'm not going to get too much in details on what DDoS is, but it's basically a network of remote PCs which are collectively attacking a server to shut down a website. And those DDoS attacks are gaining popularity because they're very easy to perform. You don't need to be a hacker to do a DDoS attack. Just watch a couple of YouTube videos and you'll be fine. And because of the drastic increase, more than 300,000 uh, homepages experienced DDoS attacks last year and more than 150 billion US dollars got lost that way. So the way people protect themselves against DDoS attacks are software, which is differentiating between a real visitor or a DDoS attacks and try to filter them out. They don't work effectively all the time, however. So the solution might be Gladius. And the way that works is Gladius is putting out the decentralized computer power against the remote PCs of the DDoS attack. 
That way the DDoS attack is not just happening on one server, but it's going to the whole distributed network. And anybody can participate in the Gladius network by logging in their computer power. Just go on their website and check how many Gladius tokens you would receive in exchange for your computer power. So this is a good way to put your unused computer power to use by plugging it into the Gladius network, earning Gladius tokens and helping them prevent DDoS attacks in the future. Because now the remote computers are not just attacking one server, they're actually trying to attack the whole decentralized network and in this case the decentralized network would win. Gladius has been very well represented in the media. Inc.com, for example, wrote an article about them, how they can stop DDoS attacks through blockchain technology. Also, Inc.com mentioned them in many other media sites. And through that, they were able to build a community of over 45,000 people on Telegram. The third company I want to introduce to you guys is Andor, and they are my personal favorite. They just collected 45 million US dollars by giving away 20% of the tokens at a price of 27 cents per token. If they come out at ICO price, they will be valued at 225 million US dollars, meaning they will go into the top 60 of cryptocurrencies at the moment and well deserved in my opinion. Ender is working in the field of artificial intelligence and it's going to become very relevant for us in the next 3-5 to five years at the same time. It's hard to grasp for us what kind of implication it will have on our everyday lives and Ender is specializing on social physics and I'm going to explain to you what that really means. The co-founder of Ender, Professor Alex Sandy Pentland says, We are coming to realize that human behavior is determined as much by the patterns of our culture as by rational individual thinking. These patterns can be described mathematically and used to make accurate predictions. There is so much data out there about everybody and Andor found a way to analyze this data and accurately predict human behavior. And this can have huge implication. What would it mean to a business to know who their next customer will be and what they will buy? We have to realize that it is people who drive the markets and their behavior has a huge implication on which way the market turns out. If a person is sad or enthusiastic, if a person doesn't have a credit card or has a credit card, all of those different things factor in the buying behavior of a person. Through all of the analyzed data, now Ender is predicting the future on who will get the next loan, what waves of demand are happening before they actually happen, also what trends are emerging, and that way they cannot even predict cryptocurrency prices in the future. Another very positive aspect of Endor is that they have big time real life clients. One of them is Walmart. They want to know the ways of demand which will happen before they happen. Obviously we all know that before Thanksgiving people buy more turkey, but there's a lot more that goes into it and they want the AI to assist them in that. Another company that they work with is Coca-Cola or Loimicard. Loimicard, they issued more than 2.5 million uh, credit cards and they tripled the, uh, the results of their campaign by using AI and the Andor protocol. On top of that, the Israeli and American intelligence is also using the Ender protocol to help solve crime. Like I said earlier, it's very hard for us to predict what kind of role artificial intelligence will play in our life in the next three to five years, but Ender will be there to assist us. Their protocol is a little bit designed like Google. Let's take a look at them. So this is how the Ender protocol interface will look in the future. It will be updated by 2020 to be able to use for the masses. And there you can type in any questions that you're interested in. Who is likely to buy a car in the next three months? Who is likely to travel to the United States in the next month? Which customer of product A will buy product B given a 10% coupon? And not just that this is amazing technology, this will be also affordable in the future for everybody. Andor has a thriving community of over 20,000 people in their Telegram group and it's very active. The press just has positive things to say about them because everybody's interested in this new technology. And the team is out of this world. They have leaders in blockchain, in banking, and they have three departments of MIT working on this project. Andor also has some high profile partners in Bancor and Enigma, just to name a few. And if you look at the competition, there really is none which compare to Andor and the technology they have built through their artificial intelligence. This is also one reason why I think they will be big in the future. So these are three companies which I think will experience tremendous growth in the next one to three years. What do you guys think about them? Do you have any questions? Leave it in the comments. Also, if you want me to cover any other ICO or blockchain that you're interested in, 
leave it in the comment section as well. And if you're interested in ICOs, blockchains in general, consider subscribing to the channel. Every Thursday we have our Tech Thursday where we have basic and expert information as well as these videos where I tell you the blockchain companies which are on the rise.